All right. Hi, everyone. Hi. Anybody out there still? Sorry. Are you all dead? Okay. So how about everybody just gives me a big smile, or at least like try, like a fake one. Everybody? Okay. So the average person smiles about 20 times a day, and this might surprise you, it might not. But I want you all to think in your heads about how many times you think you smile during the day. And we're going to come back to this. Okay, this is a video. I just want to start things off right. I have a few smiling animals, so... Oh, nice. <laughs> just, you know, in case you're sleeping. And it has really cool music. That's fun, it's jazzy. Aw, oh, dogs are the best. Are you not smiling? 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 Are you um, many researchers believe that simple emotional expressions such as smiles are universal. So I think this is pretty cool. And even people that have very little contact with the industrialized world can recognize basic emotions such as smiling. And so I got into this because I was hanging out with my cousin's baby. Her name is Adelina. <laughs> and I was like, this is a tiny child. Why is she smiling when she's happy? Like, did she just know that you're supposed to smile? What's up with this? So, I was thinking, why do we smile when we're happy? And are we born with this instinct, or is it something we learn? Okay, so, this is Charles Darwin. And you probably know about his theory of evolution, but he also did some early experimental psychology and he published something called The Expression of the Emotions in Man and Animals. And this was in 1872. And what he said was that all humans express emotion through similar behaviors. And he also said that human smiles might be adopted from animals, like showing their teeth to be predatory, but eventually it lost its predatory meaning. Obviously, when I smile, I'm not trying to say, like, I'm going to eat you. So that's one theory. Another theory is the chimp theory, and this is rooted in the behavior of chimpanzees, obviously. And so chimpanzees smile as a way of showing submissiveness. So basically, when one chimpanzee smiles at another chimpanzee, he's saying, hey, I'm cool. Like, yeah, you're, you're above me. Don't worry about me. I recognize your power. <laughs> so, ah, okay, so smi human smiles may have similar motives, maybe. But honestly, we don't really know why we smile. So there's not really an answer. And so I was like, okay, so I've been researching this. There's not really an answer. Nobody really knows. So what am I going to tell them? Here's what I'm going to tell you. It doesn't matter. All you got to do is smile. And here's why. So there's a lot of evidence that smiling can trick your brain into being happy. So even if your day is really crappy, just put a smile on your face, and maybe it'll get better. Maybe not, but you try. What's the harm? So here are some things that um, smiling does besides just making you happy. Um, it can reduce your pain. Apparently, it's good for your heart, so that's always good. And um, it can boost your immune system. All right, so even if you think this project is dumb, and you don't know why you should smile, just please try. All right, so we're going back to that thing we talked about in the beginning. I asked you how many times you think you smile. Okay, I have another statistic. And children, how many times do you think children smile? Any guesses? Much higher. I'll tell you. 120. It's 400 times. Children smile 400 times a day. And we only smile 20, so what the heck? So what I'm going to say is children are like the happiest little things ever. So why don't you just take it from the little kids and try smiling a little more? Uh, that's the end. Yay! All right, Sydney.
So where would somebody go to start information gathering on that? Like, is there a certain place, certain website, certain, or, that's what I get for stepping in the dark, a certain um, uh, place that you went to to, like, begin your investigations, or did you just start by interviewing people? I just started by, like, researching emotions in general. That's what I probably do. And then, um, like, do a little more research on, like, why, just why emotions, why facial expressions of emotion. That's basically what I did. Okay, and what did you like and not like about Genie Sour? Okay, so I think the Genie Sour idea is, like, brilliant. And um, although I think that for this class, it would be good to just do it for one semester because, like, honestly, your idea, like, won't work unless, like, everybody in, like, the education system is, like, on board with it because, like, our brains are kind of messed up to, like, not, like, do it the way that we would like it to be done. So that's kind of unfortunate, but it's kind of the way it is. So I think a shorter time frame would be helpful. Okay. Awesome. Thank you.